after playing so many years, uh, I still get the, you know, the jitters before fir first practice. That's uh, a good thing. Yeah, it's a great thing. You know, it's like the first day of school. You know, so meeting all the teammates again, uh, talking to the coach, having a little uh, introduction, and then having the coach lay out everything that he expects from the team, uh, the rules and stuff. Also, uh, it's, it's great. Can you compare this squad to anyone that you experienced before in your career? I mean, the uh, roster deep wise, maybe the players wise, and so on. Um, I, we're, we're definitely a deep team. Uh, we have a lot of a lot of good players, uh, and uh, you know we can rotate a lot of a lot of people, uh, multiple position players. So that's very good. I think it was something similar we had with FS uh, when I was there. We had guys that can switch uh, switch positions and play uh, play play the game easily. Um, you know, whoever gets the rebound can push the ball up. It's it's you know a, a really dynamic uh, type of basketball. You know. Last season you were with Bologna Virtus team, and when you got the phone call from Jardis Konas, what was your first impression about the offer from Jardis? Uh, I was excited. You know, I was I was really excited because um, I heard a lot of good things about um, the team, the fan base, uh, the coach. Um, you know, the the players on the team that were that were coming. So um, for me, it was a no-brainer. Um, I, I took a, a little while just to make sure that, you know, this is the right fit for me and my family, but uh, I knew it was good. What was the pitch talk by Andrea Trinchieri and Jali Grisconas management to lure you to Konas? Oh, I mean, coach didn't have to say much, uh, but he, did, he gave a, a, really good, a really good speech to me. We talked a little bit. It was a, a short speech, but it was very, very impactful, you know, and um, I'm going to keep what he said between me and him, yeah. but uh, it was, it was uh, really good. We talked to Jalgiris uh, Konos' uh, representatives, management, and one of the things they said about you that they want a, not only a strong player on the core, but all, also a veteran presence. I, I respect the uh, talk between you and Andrea, but was this also an, an aspect for you to go to Jalgiris to be a strong voice, to be an experienced player, to help uh, gel this team together also? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, at my age, uh, it's, it's normal for me to, to, to be a voice in the locker room, a uh, voice on the court to help guys uh, maybe manage some things that the coach doesn't have time to manage or maybe he doesn't, uh, he doesn't see some things behind the scenes. So for me, uh, it's just important to, to maintain that, that unity within the team, uh, have an open line so we can talk freely and just keep, keep the team together. At this point of your career, what do you think you give the best on the court right now for any team that uh, want to have Brian Dunstan on, on their squad? Um, I mean, just I bring a lot of energy to the game. I try to bring a, a good uh, attitude and spirit, um, team, team basketball, um, hustle. There's little, little things that you probably don't see in the, on the stat sheet, but it, it counts big for, for winning teams. I've counted how many times you played against Jalgiris, and do you want to guess the number in the EuroLeague, I mean? In the EuroLeague? Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. This is... Uh, I played against them 23 times. 23 times. It's 13 times, actually. 13? Really? 13 oh, times. Okay. But, but, but you have one but record. It was the home and away, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have one record of your career against Jalgir Skolnas. One personal record, like in one of the graphs of the statistics. Blocks, I'm guessing. Yes. Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> I mean. So five blocks against Jalgir Skolnas. You played many times here. You, you said that you heard a lot about Jalgir but oh, you also experienced a lot about yeah, yeah. Uh, versus Jalgir. So how did you like the atmosphere every time you played here in Jalgir Arena? Every time I played here, it was always um, a big game, you know, and it's not just because of the opposing team. It's just, you know, the fans love this team so much and they, they give their energy on the court uh, in the arena. Um, it really adds an extra, extra element to the game. You know, it's never, it's never a boring game here, you know, so um, to have that intimidation factor uh, on my side now uh, with, 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 the, with this team. It's going, to be, it's going to be really great. Uh, talking about you from the big guy perspective, you said uh, amazing screens, uh, solid as a rock, and looking to the guards that Jalik does have this season. Uh, how do you see that upcoming cooperation between you and the guards of Jalik Um, You know, my job is to, to make the game easier for them. Um, uh, defensively, I want to help them, uh, make them not have to work so hard and, and, and maybe cover, cover some things for them where they make mistakes. Also, offensively, Set, set screens, get them open, get them easy baskets, um, get some other guys open, make some open shots, uh, move the ball, and just uh, get extra possessions, uh, little things like that. And what are your expectations uh, for the upcoming season with Jalik Deskonas? I mean, it's clear, you know, that uh, uh, I, I play basketball to win. That's the, that's the only reason why I play. So 
I came here to win. Um, that's every game we play. I don't care if it's a regular season game, if it's a preseason game, I, I, I want to win. So um, every game we go out there, I'm expecting us to win. So that's my expectation, and uh, I hope everybody expects the same.